How do you handle someone who, once they're happy again, they ignore those who were there for them? All right, hear me out. You are really listening to your friend who's going through someone. Every day you listen to their problem, what they're dealing with, you offer words of encouragement, you drop everything when they call or want to get together because you know they're dealing with something right now. Okay, but then it's over. They've solved the problem. They're happy now and they ignore you. I, I, I've told you this story so many times because it still hurts. That didn't, that something similar happened to me. I was there for my friend every single day when she was going through something. I mean, I dropped everything, listened to her, offered words of encouragement, and she got over it, everything was fine. Then I needed to talk to her. I just needed a sounding board, and I needed her time for a few minutes to listen. Yeah, she had no time. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. This is a fair weathered friend and I put her on the back burner. Cause I'm like, okay, I don't need someone like that in my life. And I didn't drop her, but I just, yeah, I, I was busy, you know, and things to do, organizing my sock drawer, whatever it was. You, you know what I mean? You're just like, okay, this person is now an acquaintance. So if this happens to you, that's what you have to do. Because if you are continually there for that person and you're like, well, okay, but I'm, I'm the better person and I know she or he is not there for me most of the time and I'm always there for them, but it's okay. I know what, when I have a crisis, they'll be there. I know it. Don't count on it. Don't count on it. I mean, are they really going to change? Maybe, maybe, but are you wanting to wait around? No. And again, I used to say, oh, just drop them, drop them. But I feel like you can compartmentalize and you can, I can put them on the back burner. Change the friendship into more of an acquaintance type relationship. You're not always available. You're really, really busy, which you are, not a lie. And you see them, you know, when you're with your group of friends or whatever, maybe if they text you, you'll text them something quick back but it won't be like it used to be because it can't be because you're going to feel like a doormat and it will eat at you. And then every time you're around this person, you're like, you're going to remember. So instead, surround yourself. And I always say this like a broken record, but surround yourself with people who bring you up, who care about you and vice versa.